As a portable ham radio operator, I always find that there's, there's constantly this desire to take more and more with us. There's always the, what if I need this? What if I need that? The, the whole one is none, two is one philosophy. Well, I've been struggling with that my entire ham radio career and it kind of ebbs and flows between a really lightweight bag and a really heavy bag and everything in between. One solution though, is to simply limit the size bag that you're carrying. With something as small as this, you can do either a QRP or a QRO activation and you can hold it with your thumb. You simply can't cram everything that you would think you would need out in the field and that's a good thing. So let's hop over on the bench. I'm going to show you everything for a QRP activation and everything for a 100 watt activation and how it all fits in this tiny little bag. This is called the Rover Sling Pack from Red Rock Outdoor Gear. I bought this all the way back in 2017. Uh, it's currently going on Amazon for about $34 uh, to, to $45, depending on the color. This is the Coyote, which is the cheapest version as well. It doesn't come with this little pouch. I added this. This is like a, uh, a handheld radio uh, pouch that's holding this mast here, but it's just a fantastic bag. You've got all kinds of pouches. You've got uh, actually two on the front here and then another one on top. You've got an inside thing. Turn this around. You've got kind of your little hidden compartment back here that's padded. Uh, it does unsnap as well. You can put some, there's, there's like some Velcro on there for some smaller items. Um, you've got this little thing. I, I have no idea what this is for, but you could, I don't know, maybe put a mask or something in there with some tie downs. The strap itself, very nicely padded, very, very comfortable to wear. You've got some uh, different Molly attachments, some of these little plastic hook things, more Molly attachments. So I put like HT microphones on here. Uh, there's actually a little pouch there. There's just, there's so many things, so many places to put stuff. You've got uh, a little buckle thing there to unbuckle it. And then you've also got this other smaller strap to uh, kind of put around your waist. But this is just an over the shoulder sling kind of bag. Uh, it works great, more molly on the sides. You've got molly on both sides. Uh, that's how this is on. And then on the front here, you've got Velcro for your uh, pouches, more molly here. Nice uh, handle on top there. So uh, you can fit all kinds of stuff in here. So right now the, I have everything that I need for my Yesu 818 and doing a QRP outing. So uh, starting out here, we've got our soda beams carbon six mast. So what is that 17 feet or something? Uh, get your antenna up in the air. And then let's see, what do we have in this front pouch? I've got uh, in this very front pouch, I have just a doingy here. These are good for just holding up uh, like the feed point here and fed half wave antenna, something like that. That's all I have in there actually. And then we open this compartment. We got all kinds of things. Here's that uh, buck converter we showed in one of our last videos here. Got a couple different cables. Uh, this one is to charge the lithium battery that's inside the 818. This one is to charge uh, like any of my Yesu HTs like my FT5. We've got a three amp hour bioeno lithium iron phosphate battery. I have a um, Pactena choke for NFED half waves or just choking in general. And then for antennas, I actually like to use this. Uh, this is something I commissioned Adam K6ARK to make. This is actually a nine to one with enough wire to, to basically go all the way out for like 80 meters. Uh, and there's a little link on here with banana plugs. So really, really like this antenna. It works really well. And uh, I love it. Thanks, Adam, for making that for me. In this pouch, I have this little ATU-10 antenna tuner, which I actually didn't like when I reviewed it, but then I updated the software, the firmware rather, and uh, it works very well. So this in conjunction with this antenna, which normally I'm a resident guy, but I have these things, so I figured I might as well use them. They work very, very well together. So very happy with that combination. And then I also have this Altoids tin, which Altoid tins are just great for holding things. Adam would put a whole radio in here with some capacitive keys and <laughs> that would be his keyer, but inside here, I've got a couple cables. This cable right here uh, is not necessarily needed with this, but it can be used with uh, the tuner here. 
And then I have the N6 ARA tiny key thing here. So that's a little kind of emergency Morse code key that I did uh, a video on here. Very, very cool. Then I have another, this is the cable that comes with the, the tiny key. I have an adapter. Should you have, uh, if you need to go from like eighth inch to quarter inch, there you go. And then uh, probably the, the favorite key that I own, and I'm not even a CW guy, this is something that uh, Adam K6ARK uh, also printed, kind of a clone of the uh, Palm Pico paddle. This thing is just, it's just silky smooth. I love this paddle. It's got a magnetic base, so it can stick to the radio. It's just, it's freaking awesome. Moving into the main compartment now, we can open this up. And there's actually, inside here, there's a little pouch uh, that is just perfect for, unzip this, and I have a couple lengths of RG316. I like this coax, it's for HF, it's actually uh, pretty low loss in, in short runs, and it's just very thin, easy to manage. This is uh, about 25 feet of RG316, and then I've got another, I don't know, two or three foot jumper with, with the ferrite on there uh, as a choke. So that goes in there, so, you know, bunch of, bunch of coax. You gotta keep your Ed Fong roll up uh, two meter, 70 centimeter J-pole in there. Everyone needs one of these antennas. Then we have our microphone for the 818. Then down here, I've got, oh, this is a little, uh, this is actually an intubating stylet my friend Ryan gave me. Uh, this is cool because you can, you can use this to tie things around trees or hold up antenna masts or whatever, wrap it around something. Pretty cool. Or like a, like a, like a bongo tie or something. Uh, and then down here, if I can get it unstuck, we have uh, a, a cluster of cables, but this is actually the digi rig for doing digital modes. Uh, our, our digital sound card interface for the 818 to hook up to a computer if I want to do uh, FT8 out in the field. That fits in there all nice and snug. And then the star of the show, we have the 818 in there. And it just fits perfectly in this little pocket. So there's a pocket here. If we lift this flap up, we actually have another pocket here, and then you've got this big kind of center storage thing. There's just, there's so much room for activities in here, it's ridiculous. So, putting that aside, all of that stuff fits in that bag for a QRP activation. The only downside of this bag, so if I want to do digital, I got to bring my computer, I, I basically just got to carry it, because it just, it's just, too big to fit in that little pouch back there. That would just be uh, too perfect. So that's the one thing that I would have to carry with QRP. But wait, there's more. Let's say we want to do a 100 watt activation. Well, we can get rid of some of this stuff. We don't need that battery. We don't need the buck converter. We'll keep uh, our HT charging cable. We can get rid of the cable to charge the 705. We can get rid of the tuner. We'll keep the choke. We'll keep the doingy. We'll get rid of that antenna. Now, we can use our Yesu 891. There's its power cable. That fits in here snugly, believe it or not. Okay, just like that. Now, battery, any of, any of you that have watched my channel since like the beginning will recognize this. This is a 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate uh, battery pack that I put together. And this fits in here oh so nicely like such so now we have the radio and the battery we can throw the microphone in here as well we're gonna use the same coax because this coax actually handles quite a bit of power now this coax has uh, BNC connectors on it where the 891 has uh, an SO239 so one thing we're gonna need is a PL259 to BNC female adapter that we can just throw in there, like such. That's everything we need in that pouch. Whoops. Definitely need our power cable too. All right. We can go ahead and keep our collection of uh, our N6ARA and our K6ARK CW keys, just for giggles. 
that goes right in that little pouch there. And we can go ahead and throw our choke in there as well. And then in this pouch, we actually don't need much, but I'll go ahead and put my HT's uh, charging cable in there. And as far as antenna, I'm gonna use the Pactenna NFET half wave this time because this handles 100 watts. I can do uh, 40, 20, 17, 15, and 10 with this because I made a link for uh, 17 meters. So by far one of my favorite antennas in the world. And then we can take our little intubating stylet and we, I use this to hang it like that and then I'll just tie that uh, around like a tree branch or something to hold up the feed point. Works great. We'll throw that in there. You could just use a, a doingy as well, so, you know, just a little backup. We'll throw that in there. And we can also take our carbon six mask because we're using such light gauge wire, 26 gauge soda beams wire on that Pactana. Uh, this has no problem holding it up. And now we have everything we need for 100 watt activation in this awesome Red Rock rover sling bag whatever the heck they call it so just super versatile this is a pack that i grab uh quite often uh you might not see it on camera as much but uh this is probably uh of all the bags i own one of my absolute favorite i can't believe it's taken me this long to do a review on it but you know 30 34 whatever i said it's just freaking awesome and uh you could even take your ht throw it in the in the molly here if you want there's actually enough room for a roll-up J-pole in here. In here, This is the Ed Fong roll-up J-pole. We could throw that in there. Just like that, we're good to go.